only have this one overhead light here in the kitchen um, and it just doesn't give us enough light for when we're eating and it absolutely does not give us a light over here on the countertops when we're cooking. So there's two types of light. In a kitchen you need a lot of light, but there's task lighting, which you get right here, I mean, if you're prepping, cleaning, and then certainly over here cooking. The other type of light in the kitchen is general lighting. The general lighting is real good for when you're at the table or just out here in general. Now, we have a couple of ways to accomplish this. There's recessed lighting, which is cutting a big hole in the ceiling, mm -hmm. and we can put the light in there, run a wire from recessed light to recessed light. What's above us? Master bedroom. So it's a finished floor, a little difficult to get wires and fixtures where you want them, but I have another solution. Let me show you. Sounds good. All right. So here's what I got for you, track lighting. We can put this track anywhere along the surface of the ceiling that you need to. Remove that fixture, feed it with power here. It can go over here. It can even go over your tabletop, and we can stick light right over that. That sounds good, Scott, but um, this is just really not what I had in mind. This thing is big, it's clunky, and it just looks really old. No? Well, nowadays you can go to a store and they have many different choices for track fixtures, like a low-profile LED fixture. You can also get other fixtures for the track system, like pendants, and you can even choose a decorative glow. You can also buy all the track sections you need, plus kits for adding power and making turns. And it's really not that much harder than changing a light fixture. Sounds good. Let's get started. All right. With the power shut off, I can remove your old fixture and expose the electrical box. I'm going to install this floating feed, which will supply power to the whole track system. We're ready to start installing the track. I've brought a four footer and an eight footer. However, we can cut it to any length we need. I've gone ahead and measured it out, and I think the eight footer is a little bit too long, so we can cut it with just a regular half saw. It's a lot easier to put the connectors on before you install the track. There's no structure where the fasteners need to go to support the track, so I'm going to use a toggle bolt. With the track in place, I insert this connector, turn it 90 degrees to add power. We cover everything up with this plate. All right, Matt, let's get these heads in. So if you look, there's two prongs here and there's one prong there. And then this collar retracts and that collar actually locks the head in. And you put it up so that the two prongs are on the left side, make it flush, let it go and then you can aim the fixture wherever you want. It'll go 360 that way, and 360 this way, and up and down. Let's do the next one. All right, this is the last light here. It's a pendant style light. I've already adjusted the height of the pendant to be about 29 inches off the table. It has a standard Edison base. We're gonna use this LED replacement bulb. Okay, power's on. Go ahead, hit the switch. All right. 
Wow, Scott, this looks great. What an improvement. And that's not only a switch, check it out, it's a dimmer. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Fantastic. So because this is LED, it uses less power than the fix you had before. Mm -hmm.